Hey everyone, it's Kate. And today I'm gonna make some double-sided fringed woven napkins for you. I love these napkins because they're hefty, they last forever, they get more beautiful with every wash, and they're easy. Um, if you're a big follower of us, you'll know that I have made a fringed napkin video before, but it ended up being very echoey, so we're refilming it. And we are filming on Facebook Live, but we will upload to YouTube. <clears throat> and if you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about sewing and quilting, you can subscribe to our channel. This woven napkins are the 12th of our 12 makes of Christmas for 2020. If you're watching this video in December of 2020, you can go to our website, theconfidentstitch.com, and see, learn about the other 11 makes in our series of 12 makes. They're all easy things you can make and gift, and with plenty of time for Christmas, you have six whole days to go. Um, and I want to thank everyone for following along with our 12 makes of Christmas. You guys have been really engaged and we've had a great time um, playing with you and making fun things this season. Um, so <clears throat> these woven napkins are basically just two squares of fabric that you sew around the edges with them wrong sides together and then you fringe the edges and wash them and they're easy, they're great. But it can be challenging if you don't cut them exactly on grain. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make sure that both sides of the napkin are cut on grain and it's just a little bit different than when you're cutting out quilting cotton. So let's go to the overhead. And <clears throat> basically the way to make sure that you're on grain with a woven fabric that's more loosely woven than a quilting cotton, it could be a linen or a cotton like these are, um, is to pull a thread and then cut along the little opening you made when you pulled the thread. But all of our <clears throat> uh, diamond textiles wovens that we have, they all have a design woven into the grain. So I use my cheater method, which is just cutting along the design or yeah, it's just real, it's, they make these fabrics make it really easy to make sure you're on grain. But the first time I cut out a set of napkins, um, I used a square ruler. I like my napkins to be 15 to 17 inches and I used I think a 15 inch square ruler and lined it up on one grain line but then the rest ended up not being quite on grain and let me show you what happens when you do that so this is a little mini napkin that it's well cut out it's each angle is 90 degrees it's a perfect square but because I wasn't exactly on grain on all edges, you can see when I start fringing, I fringed all the way down to my stitching on this end, but up here I've barely started fring fringing. And so that's what happens if you're not on grain with these. Um, <clears throat> and also, instead of just cutting out, set. Uh, all the 17 inch squares that you need, it's better to cut out the 17 inch squares of one color, one half, and then cut out, let me flip this over. On the other half, I square up two edges, and I mark them with these pins. Um, and then lay my previously cut square on top, lining up, these are the two edges that I had squared up before. I'm gonna line up those two edges and <clears throat> um, smooth from the center. 
So everything's even. I've actually done the third side too this time, but, um, and then hopefully, can you see this edge here? Okay. So then on this fourth edge, and I would have done this on the third edge as well. Um, I am gonna, this is so easy. I'm gonna pull, oops. So I can see right where the thread is on <clears throat> this fourth edge and I'm just gonna pull a thread right where I want to cut. And then either with scissors, or with a rotary cutter that you're using freehand. I just, I don't have good luck if I use a ruler and a rotary cutter. I cut along the thread that I pulled. And, whoops. And then I have two 17 inch squares that are exactly the same size, both on grain. And um, I just pin all the way around and I sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, but depending on the size of the fringe that you want, you could use a one inch seam allowance, you could use a quarter inch if you want just a tiny bit of fringe. Um, Whatever you want, you can just sew around all four edges, pivoting at the corners. And then you basically just pick out the fabric, I mean the, the threads, um, above your stitching line. And you have some beautiful fringe. And after you wash it, it kind of gets a little <clears throat> fluffier and um, poofier and even prettier. So... That is how you make woven napkins. And once you carefully cut them out, the rest is really easy. You just have to slow down in the cutting out phase. And we have a ton of Diamond Textiles woven fabrics. <clears throat> this is just a few of them. We have paired them on the website for the 12 makes but you can pair any two that you want and you can make something that people will use for a long, long time and maybe they'll wean themselves from paper napkins and they'll really appreciate it. And there's six more days until Christmas and that's plenty of time to make a whole bunch of these. So I hope that you make these or any of our 12 makes of Christmas and we're gonna take a little break until uh, January, but we'll be back with lots of Facebook Lives and lots of other videos, and we look forward to seeing you then. Have a safe, uh, warm, and happy holiday. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.